The Copperhead 3400 is being shown for the very first time in New York City here to the sports video group professionals. These are some of the top broadcasting professionals in the world. And there's got lots of interest in doing 3D. In fact, that's the main topic of conversation here at the sports video group this year. So a lot of people are looking at the 3400 to help facilitate 3D production. It's been used already all over the world in uh, Australian rugby productions and rock concerts in Los Angeles, golf in New York, uh, concerts in, New in, down in Manhattan. Uh, and recently, uh, it was down at ESPN's Advanced Television Research Facility in Orlando, Florida, where they're looking at it as they're moving their facilities into 3D as well. So if, if you're trying to do 3D, you're going to want to use fiber, and if you want to use fiber, you're going to want to use a Copperhead 3400. Okay, well, today we've got the Copperhead 3400 system mounted on a Threality 3D rig. The 3D rig provides 3D signals to, for a live broadcast, which is what this rig is specially designed for, although it can also be used for motion picture production, as well as sports and any other 3D production that you might want to produce. The system consists of two Sony P1 cameras and a beam splitter system, the beam splitter rig here. And all of the signals from those two P1 cameras are brought via coax, VNC cables, to the Copperhead 3400. The Copperhead 3400 aggregates all of the signals that need to move from the 3D rig to what would normally be the truck or the control room all over a single fiber optic cable, in this case, simply hybrid cable. All of the signals that need to come back from the control room or the truck, from uh, the Genlock signals, the intercom signals, the tally signals, are also brought up to the camera on that same cable, and then brought to the copperhead unit and then distributed out via the connection panel here. The, uh, the system has audio connectors here, intercom, plus your Genlock outputs to feed the cameras, your HD-SDI inputs from the cameras, as well as return video for the viewfinder and, and tally signals, and full camera control. So all of the camera control signals to control both the Sony P1 cameras and the 3D rig all come off of the uh, remote control connectors down here. Copperhead base station, which uh, sits typically in the control room or the truck, and is a 1RU device, and on the back has all of the connections, the inputs that go to the camera, the outputs that come from the camera, and then feed the infrastructure for your multi-camera production.